setup doesn't really change that much where I record, but I do change the albums in the background if you guys notice it's been around a while. So that's Michael Jackson's Thriller right there, one of the greatest albums ever, and that's the best of Bob Marley. Best of us. I wanna know from you guys, what should I change it up to in 2024? But we're not here to talk about music, we're here to talk about backpacks. I got the Tortuga laptop backpack. Yeah, it's a pretty vanilla name right here. Tortuga reached out to me, Tortuga meaning turtle in Spanish. And they were like, can you, you know, show off our backpack? Can you review it? And I was like, sure man, send that thing over. I'll check it out. So this is it right here. I've been using it for about a week and a half, two weeks. And I got some thoughts about it. We're gonna do some specs real quick. This pack is 19 inches tall, 10 inches wide and seven inches in depth. I think the 19 inches tall part is the part you gotta really pay attention to because it is a taller pack. For some shorter people, you might find it a little tall. This is a 24 liter pack. Even though it's 24 liters, I found this pack to be pretty streamlined. You know, like it wasn't in my way. I didn't feel like it was too big on my back. You know, I was in and out of the city with this pack and I was like, yeah, this is this is a pretty nice design. And that's probably my number one thing that I like about this pack right here is the design of the pack. The weight on this pack is super light, super light for 24 liters, only at 2.1 pounds. Excellent, excellent weight. So I'm gonna show you the things that I do like first, and then I'm gonna show you some things that are questionable. Some things I got some questions about on this pack right here. So what do I do like? I was mentioning the design. So I'm gonna take you to the first thing right here. It's in the side of this pack right here. The side access to the laptop sleeve is excellent. I probably, I don't think I've ever reviewed a pack with this type of access to the laptop. First of all, they have YKK PU coated zippers on this whole pack right here. This laptop sleeve section is lockable. Excellent, really like that. Now the, the YKK zippers, they're a little smaller throughout this pack. I would say these are like a number five right here. They have the Tortuga uh, branding on the zipper pulls, but let me show you. This thing like we lays all the way open, right? It takes up to a 16 inch laptop, which I think is pretty damn excellent. What you can do while this pack is on body, like you have it slinged on your shoulder, you can access your laptop. Maybe you just wanna pull it out real quick or pass it to somebody else. This is an excellent way to load the laptop and to um, take it out. So definitely like that. The inside lining of the uh, laptop sleeve is a lighter, it's this lighter color lining throughout this bag. I'm gonna I'm gonna reserve comments when we go when we go to the things that I don't like about this bag. But yeah, it's totally padded, really well. Um, lighter color, you can consider it high vis, dope, you know, fleece line, snuff padding. I didn't feel the laptop in my back at all, you know, when I was carrying it this last couple of weeks. So that's something I do do like. Now the Opening in the front is something that I also like as well, right? This U-shape opening is pretty dope. So again, they have the TPU coated YKK zippers. Again, they're a little smaller. They zip down to here, right, on the pack, right? They zip down to about here on the pack and then you can get like a top access, not full clamshell, but top access. So I like the, the ability to ability to go into the pack this way. You know, I might just want to grab something right here on the top, that's pretty dope. Now, the next thing that I like about this pack is this top pocket right here. I love these brain pockets or whatever, quick access pockets, however you wanna say them. I love the fact that when, you know, bag makers put these packs, you know, these pockets there because this is where I probably access the most. Like, I would say 70% of the access or getting into the bag is right here in this front section. You could put, you know, hat and gloves in there. I just have my, you know, my work phone in there and it's excellent. Little, you know, keychain lanyard. It's got a plastic clip. You guys know how I feel about plastic clips. And you get a little sneak peek 
of the interior fabric right here as well. So this pocket is double, you can have like a double access to it. So you can get into it from the outside, but you can also get into this pocket on the inside as well. Same pocket, so if I unzip, I can still pull out that work phone right there. So that's pretty dope, man. The last thing that I would say that I really like about this pack is the shoulder straps and the overall harness system is pretty good. Really got good width on the shoulder straps, got some nice dense foam on the shoulder straps. Definitely feels good. The back panel, although it's not, you know, like an airflow king, it does have like a race channel up here in, in the middle. It's got like some dimples in the back. Nice feeling, very firm mesh. You don't have any curvature, so there is like a flat, flat back kind of deal right there. So that's what it is, you know, but it's it was still very comfortable. So those are the kind of things that I do like about this pack. Now let's get into the things that are questionable about this pack. First of all, I got to talk about the materials used. And I'm talking about this Shell 200 that they put on these packs and then pretty much their, their, the whole Tortuga line. When you go to their website, you see that it's made out of the Shell 200. It's a recycled material. I'm all about recycling. Definitely want my planet clean, but I wish they would have been a little bit more upfront about what this is. It is, it looks kind of like an X-Pack, right? It's got the checkered pattern like an X-Pack, but it's not X-Pack. It's actually polyester. So it's a polyester laminate. It's got several layers. Of, uh, of polyester and they don't use uh, like an adhesive to hold those layers together like an X-Pack does. So yeah, there's that. Um, I really haven't had too many problems with this fabric at all. Like it looks it looks good, it, it wears well. Um, I just wish they were a little bit more upfront about the fact that it was polyester. Then, this is one of the things, the water bottle pockets, they, they actually work really well. Like, you know, let me grab out this uh, Camelback shoot right here. Large 30 something ounce Camelback shoot. This is what gets swallowed up by the water bottle pockets. They're huge. I, I, I love the fact that you have dual water bottle pockets on this pack right here. What I don't love is the material used, right? It's a thinner kind of mesh and you know, it, it just doesn't lend itself because, you know, let's talk about the price right now. This is a $250 pack. It doesn't really, to me, scream, this pack is 250 bucks. So there's that, right? They're, they're, they're water bottle pockets that function well, but yeah, it's just okay. Um, just okay. Now let's go into the interior of this pack right here. Go back into the interior. I'll talk about some of the stuff that I have in this pack. So I have my Steam Deck OLED. You know, this is the case that you can pull out of the bigger case. So I carry that with me. The mesh in the inside right here is actually really good. It feels really good, really rugged and tough. The color, right? One is the color and then two is the interior material use, right? The color for me is just a little bit light. It's it's like you want to be high vis, and I've seen that gray done, you know, like a gray fabric done really well. It, you know, kind of hides the scenes. This is a little bit too light for me. Um, and then when you look, you go into the material section on Tortuga's website, you find out this is a 70D ripstop. I don't really care what kind of interior lining you use, as long as it's heavyweight and it's going to be durable. You, from the feeling of this, you feel as if this is a cheaper pack. I'm just saying that it doesn't feel high quality for the price of the pack, right? So then, you know, I carry, I, like, it's, it's like getting really close to Christmas, right? Cap, cap two. Um, it's getting really close to Christmas. So I carried in like some, some candy canes to work in this pack. And I think I was carrying a couple of boxes. It feel, filled up really quickly. So when they say it's 24 liters, I don't know, it feels a little smaller, right? It feels a little smaller. And then, all right, let me go back here. One thing that I, 
that I wish they would have done if they were going to go with the U-shaped opening, take the, the U-shaped opening all the way down. That would have gave me like more of a panel loading bag. I know, you know, it could feel close to like a Evergoods Mountain Pounder loader or something like that, but it's just more accessible for me. So now I'm like here with getting access with the bag instead of like being able to like lay this whole flap over and getting inside. So that's, that's one thing. Then you have this organizer panel in the back, right? I'm, I'm like on the fence. Like sometimes companies can do an organizer panel really, really well. And I'm like, right on, you know, like I'm gonna use the hell out of that. Then you have th these ones that are just I like they just I so they have some nice pop like this pocket over here is pretty damn nice It's got the nice uh, rugged mesh there I was able to put like my, my Phoenix flashlight there and then I have the spider co spidey chef in the same pocket and Also, you have like two pen slots regular size pen slots then they come with the like this business card slot holder um I, I'm I'm pretty you know I'm I'm into business you know a little bit. Uh, I can't remember a time when I was like tick somebody's business card and was like I'm gonna put it in my backpack in these like business card slots. I think that that could have been used for something else. I would have liked another pocket right there. That would have been more useful for me. But just to take that space up in the you know the interior of the bag for these business card slots and they're super shallow, so it's not like you can stick anything else over there then you know like like a tablet sleeve compartment and it is suspended like these these pockets are suspended off the you know all the back the laptop and the, the tablet sleeve so you can get to your laptop in in the interior of the bag as well i could pull it out here if you you know we're already in the main section uh what i was going to say about the 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 um interior lining is that lighter color like the laptop, you know, you're gonna be in and out. Sometimes my hands are kind of like dirty a little bit. This lighter fabric is like, it's just a matter of time before this is gonna show a lot of dirt, especially for the type of, you know, like fleecy kind of material that they put back here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I, I just didn't think that that was like such a great choice. Um, then we have on the outside of the bag, right? I, I said I was gonna like, I was contemplating like, am I gonna do this review or I'm, I'm not gonna do the review, right? And, and I asked Irene, she was like, you should just like, cause I had mixed feelings about the bag. She was like, you should just not do the review. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, nah, cause I kind of told, you know, like I told Tortuga I was gonna, you know, look over the bag and I think I need to be honest about how I feel about stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I don't wanna get a bag, somebody says, hey, review a bag. And then cause I have bad feelings about it or I'm kind of on the fence about it. I'm not, I don't have bad feelings about the bag. I'm just kind of on the fence about it that I send it back to them and I never really talk about it. So I was like, nah, I'm just gonna do it and be honest, right? So on the front, you do have another section here right here in the front it kind of reminds me of the, the pockets that are on like the modern day fair bags where you know you can kind of slip in like a um you know just something flat like a notebook or something like that and this is what this is for basically you have a pocket where you can slip in like a flatter item or a flatter organizer the problem with these as well is um, when you load up the main section, this section becomes very, you know, like almost unusable. So it's just a matter about like how you're going to pack this bag out. It's not like a total bust, but at the same time, it's like, ah, uh, you know, like you got to make it work. Right. So I have my cap two in here, you know, like that fits in there really well. And you know, I'm carrying a lighter load so I can fit it. But if you pack this bag out, it, I don't think you would have the same experience with this front pocket. I appreciate it that it's there, but it's like take kind of take it or leave it. The, the grab handle on the top is decent. It's like one inch, maybe like five eighths of an inch wide piece of nylon webbing there. Then they have this luggage pass through. Um, I didn't put this on like a roller bag, but when I'm looking at this band, like the, the actual material, it's not much material here. Like, especially if you had like, this is you're gonna be your personal item when you go on the plane and you stuck that on your roller bag, I could see this kind of like wanting to separate 
from the ro roller bag because the, the material right here is probably only like a quarter of an inch wide. I think it they would be better suited putting like an inch wide, you know, roller bag um, pass through here. And then I would orientate it this way, you know what I mean? So it's not so top heavy and then it's low. So if you definitely pack the bag out, it's gonna be like this on your roller bag as you, as you move it. There's a sternum strap here, you guys already know. I don't use sternum straps on really small bags, so I can kind of take it or leave it. And it's on a slider system which is just okay for me. Slight branding right here, I actually do like that. You know, just little turtle shell, that's their that's their theme, you know, little turtle shell, you can hardly kind of see it. It looks really good. Um, for me, when I'm looking at this, this bag, I'm thinking that they like trying to give people what they want, like what the, what the industry, what the carry community wants uh, for, you know, a good price, and they're cutting a little bit, you know, you can see that they're trying to cut some some corners a little bit. I don't, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, I'm just saying. It feels like that when I'm looking at this bag. And, you know, it shows. It shows through in the in the product that you make. Um, with the interior lining especially, I, I, I wholeheartedly agree with using, you know, you know, fabrics that are safe for the environment, but be upfront about it. Don't say it's a Shell 200, say it's a polyester weave right there on the front. So I know exactly what I'm buying. And then when you put a price tag on there like 250, you gotta think about the other uh, bags that are out there on the market that are around that price point. So like you can get, you know, an Alpha 19 or Evade 1.5, like a new one for that price. So Tortuga, I think that there, there's potential here. Like they have a great design and this this design never fails this U-shaped opening. They just need to tweak it a little bit, you know, like to make it a little bit better. So I just want to be like upfront and honest with with them, with you guys. So you know, when you're looking at this bag, what the what kind of like possible drawbacks are in, in my humble opinion about the bag and what are some of the strong points like the strong points are some of the design features that they use they use nice ykk zips on they have a nice pocket up here the shoulder straps are really good and dense i actually like that um and then the other things that i've mentioned before and then the price i think that you know i can't set prices for companies like you, you choose your price point right um, for whatever profit you're trying to make, whatever the cost it was to, to produce, I, I, I think for what you have here, it feels just a little high. And uh, just to be honest with you guys and, and, and Tortugo, if y'all are watching. Guys, if you like this video, man, hit this thumbs up button. If you loved it, subscribe. And you got questions, then leave them. And I'll try to get back to you. And I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.